Hello YouTube, Instagram, or wherever else this video gets posted. In today's video, I want to talk about my piece, Spring Bathe. So I had many inspirations when it came to this piece. First, spring was on the way and flowers were blooming and I love spring flowers. And also on Instagram, there were a lot of dark skinned people wearing bright colors, which I love. I love seeing the contrast and I thought it'd be good to put that into one of my artworks. Also for the first time in like forever, I didn't draw a person with long flowy hair because not everyone has that. And I thought it'd look good to have like just short hair because of how the flowers are gonna look later. And I give her hoop earrings that felt like if she just had long hair, it would just mess up the picture that I was trying to portray. With this piece, the natural light gods were not on my side. I tried to record with natural light as many times as I can and many pieces as I have. But for this one, my blind just kept getting in the way and you can just see as like the little shape goes across the entire screen. So I'm really sorry about that. The lighting didn't change so much in this picture because time is never on my side. Okay, so now with all my inspirations out of the way, let's talk about the watercoloring thought process. I kind of wish I kept the same yellow as you see right here because this yellow is bright. I tried layering on the color, just even made it brighter, but to me it just made it a little more duller and then the fact later I come back to shade it and I come back with like a really dark orange so it just doesn't pop as in the pictures I've been seeing on Instagram and all that it doesn't look like right to me but I do keep that yellow in the sunflowers so at least I do have that pop somewhere I'm going to applaud myself with the color choices I made I try to keep it warm like as I said before like I'm trying to keep all my pieces that have like one type of feeling to it so I try to keep all the warm colors together in this one especially later with the green I still try to keep it a little bit more making sure it's more like yellow and not really a hundred percent a green color so I'm proud of myself with that and also I reuse a lot of colors because I realized at one point I had a lot of yellow left over in my watercolor palette so I decided just to put it in the background and make it into like a sunset which does make the character stand out and I kind of like how I made that idea on the fly and that's how I feel about this color palette. This piece also kind of begins the ongoing saga of me not being able to tape down a piece correctly because each time I try to like make it so like my tape is straight and flat it always comes out crooked and sometimes like water would seep underneath so if you guys have like any tips on that please let me know because I desperately need help like there hasn't been a piece yet where I've taped it correctly and like just didn't have the slant slides on it it's just I don't like that so I had a fun time trying to crop it out when I was editing the piece for me to post onto the internet later and now you guys can see me trying to make somewhat of a background and trying to ground this floating goddess I made. Uh, you can see the background is basically like a last thought, last minute decision because I don't really think things through when it comes to backgrounds and I don't really like making backgrounds in the first place. Like you can tell about the clouds and how the way they look is like not really something to put too much thought into. But I guess in the end that turned out to be a happy accident. We're now at the part where I line the piece and finish it. So I made a huge mistake at this part in which her hand kind of goes through her face because I forgot to think about the way I had her hand kind of daintily on her face like, oh, I'm a princess or whatever like that. So now it just looks like I kind of just cut her thumb and her first index finger off, which sounds very painful when you think about it now that everything is done with this piece and i'm done working on it we have made it to the end of our video thank you guys so much for watching and if you want to potentially buy this piece one day i did make a website so maybe one day i can sell prints and if you want that just go into the description below where i have my website link and you guys can find it and look at it all day see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching